Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review two products. Number one is the budget projector and also there's an NFC desktop transmitter and receiver which is done by GymTap. Now the model on the actual projector is M22 which is 1080p native resolution but I have to mention that these are really powerful products. I do not want to forget to indicate to you that this will go up to 300 inches get you a proper picture. Doesn't matter how you position Position the actual projector. We will show everything step by step. I do not want to forget. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, click to click the subscribe button and make sure you click the notification icon, select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click to click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. In here are all the components that are part of the gym tab and also part of the NFC desktop wireless receiver. Now I also received this little box. Now this is the NFC desktop wireless receiver and also transmitter. So it's both of them. That means that it can accept the Bluetooth connection and also transfer. It comes with this user manual. All of the information is inside of this. The best part is on the last page, you have a customer support information. It's all going to be inside of this user manual. It also comes with this RCA adapter. You can see on one side that it is audio video jack. And then on the other side, you have the three prongs that will be able to connect to your older type of devices like VCRs and camcorders. It also comes with this HDMI cable since we have lots of them not going to open it. It does come with this little cloth. Now this is really good to clean the lens with this so that way no dust sits in front of it. It also comes with this power adapter. And you can see one side is exactly how your computer plugins look like and the other side is created for Canada and United States. And the last thing is the actual remote. Now it is sitting inside of a little plastic so it doesn't get scratched up but once you open it it is pretty nice looking design to it. The IR sensor is on the top. If you look in the front, you have the power, you have the mute button, play and pause, source button, menu button, you have your navigation key with the OK in the middle. Also, you have the rewind, fast forward, and also escape button. You have the chapters back and forth so that we can skip a chapter to go forward or backward. It's all going to be here, but there's no other indication or any kind of marking in the bottom. But once you go to the back, and here's the part that will you can put the batteries in so you have to open it and once you open it this is how it sounds yes you didn't break it you have to put it back same way once you put the battery and you have to click and there you go that's how it closes now this is the projector how it's really packaged i really like that that these are made so that way the projector itself not gets damaged even if it's pinched on any side and once we take it out the projector is sitting inside of a plastic so that way it is not going to get scratched. Yes, and then we're going to take it out. All right, so from the front you have a huge lens, you have an IR sensor, and then if you look on the right side you have the company name written really nicely. Now if you flip it on one side, you have holes for ventilation, and then you have your port connection, which we are showing you one by one, which you have one USB connection, and then you have an HDMI connection, you have one AV port, one headphone jack port, and also one TF card reader, so you can play your movies directly from this. And if you look on the back part of it, you have a two little parts for speakers, and then you have another IR sensor in the back. Now, if you flip it on the other side, you have these little holes for ventilation, and then you have your power connection, which we're going to show in a couple of seconds how to hook it up. That's not the only thing. If you flip on the top, you have the same type of the buttons that you have on your remote. Just in case, if you ever misplace your remote, you can play it with it on the projector itself. One thing I have to mention is when you mount it and when you touch it, it will wobble a little bit and it may go out of focus or it may move a little bit. So it's better to remember where your remote is to play with. But if you ever wanted to play with the one on top of the project itself, it's right over here and you can play with it. Now this other dial that is on the top right hand side is the focus dial. And we will capture that once we go through the video itself. You have these four legs, so when you set it down, 
it doesn't move which is a really good thing another thing that is really standing out is these little parts so you can connect it to a ceiling mount and that way you can hook up your projector so that way it does not move and you can focus it properly and then watch your videos really nicely that's not the only thing there is a little dial right here just in case if you are going to hook it up and you want to just put it on the table and you need to use this part this will really help you out to angle it a little bit up or down so this way you can get your picture properly on the screen in order to connect it first put the power and then the other side and then we will hold the power button for a couple of seconds and you should hear the project itself turning on and then you should get the picture so for the first time when you turn it on this is the menu that you will see it's really nice this has a lot of things inside of it you can see right now that it says usb and it says the sd card but it says no devices connected which is a correct thing but at the bottom you can see that if you do have one of those connected you will be able to play with all of these doesn't matter if it's movies or if it is music or it is photos or text this will play it for you but if you look in the bottom you have the other settings in there which starts with av so you can connect and then you can watch your vhs tapes or camcorders and go into hdmi which we're going to cover in a couple of seconds then you do have usb and then tf card reader which will have this and then if you want to see the actual screen you can do that and then also the settings we will get to settings in a couple of seconds but let's go here first and select it so now this is screen for mirrorcast and which we will show right now how you can pair it it's very easy and very convenient to play it doesn't matter if you have an iphone or it is android phone this will play it for you on the screen very very easily which we show right now so once you turn on the screen you have to scroll up and select the projector name which is right over here and the number for the password right now shows up is one two three four five six seven eight and then press connect and it should connect automatically now that is just to pair and then we will go out go to browser and then we have to type that url which is right over here and we will try to zoom in to show you guys exactly what the number is but it is 192.168.49.1 and that's it when you press enter it should take you automatically and show you the setup on what you're trying to do but if you want to go through and play a video you can do that very easily so that we can control the actual projector directly from this but again we don't have anything there too so we will go back and then we're going to say to switch mode and there you go now it shows that that how you will be able to connect your projector to the phone itself it's called smart view here you go we will select the actual projector we will say connect takes a couple of seconds and here you go how easy it is for it to go through on the big screen so this way we can focus directly on the screen and now if we flip it flips very easily now i only have is just two screen but if i go up it shows up everything really nicely and now i can go through to play with my phone directly on the big screen so if i have to go play a movie it plays it really nicely using the wi-fi that is on the actual projector so i do not have to play that much around and it very easily and very quickly it plays it so you can see that it's not that much of a delay when i'm trying to switch the screens back and forth now going into selecting the hdmi now we have already connected our vid stick on this and this is beautiful because we just got the beta 5 which is bus tv 5 this is how it everything looks but you can see that it is very vibrant all of the colors showing properly even on that corner that time is the date and also the weather shows properly on the corner and then on this side you can see that there is a buzz logo shows properly and then if you look in the bottoms all of them are correctly set up so this is our channel which we have a lot of videos on this and you can go through it and you can play with a lot of this if you have questions drop them at the bottom of the video we're going to help you out with that but here we go this is our thumbnails that shows up this is our last video which we made for an Android thank you box. for visiting our channel today i came out to review yes you can hear box. it in the background yes. 
but let's mute it right now and let's just play with it to show you exactly how good the quality shows on the screen. So we're going to zoom in and show you exact quality on how good this will show when you go near to it and how good the pixelization shows on this very, very quickly. Now, just to show you, this is, is very near to the actual screen. And now when we move out, This is how good the quality looks when you look from very far. Now we will go through some testing to show you exact colors on how good the whites and also the sound quality will be when we are playing with this projector with the noise and everything. Now for the actual screen, you can see when we are near to the actual projector, we're getting almost 800 out of 2000 lux which is a really good number when it comes to the screen. Now, when we go really near to the screen itself, now you can see that it changed. It changed to 121.9 almost or 22 out of 200. Now, when it comes to fan noise, this is the number that we're getting. Now, this is the sound quality directly from the actual projector. And this is our own voice. We're not going to mimic anybody else's voice to show exactly how loud it is. Now, I know my voice is not that loud, but this is it. You can hear it right now. I'm just going to play and subscribe to our channel. Click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure to click the notification. Select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out on top of that. All right. So let's do a little test and show you exactly how everything works. Number one was focus. Use your remote, go to settings, and yes, you can see right now that we are very, very out of focus. And then if you want to focus it, you just have to dial little bit by little in order to get it focused. And yes, make sure you don't go too much. And there you go. That is really good focused. Now there's one more feature which is kind of hidden inside of your settings is you have to go all the way in the bottom and it will come up as your reduced display size. This means is you can zoom in or zoom out. So if we go to 99, you can see that it just flickers a few times and it will change the screen size. Now if we go, this is how small it will get, which is about 50% it says, and that's the screen size you can get so you can play your videos. That's the smallest you can get from where you are. But what we were trying to accomplish is the tilt to see exactly where that is. Let's get there. Now, they do not have an actual dial on the projector itself for you to tilt. And that means is to give it a keystone so you can go back and forth. So that way this shows straight. And if you have the top where bigger, the smaller, the bottom one is smaller. How you can fix it is all under settings. So press menu and then go to options. And then in the bottom, it says 4D keystone correction. When you select it, the menu that comes up is beautiful. Now, the first part, it just talks about how much on the side you want to do. So this way, it is all done digitally. So you do not have to play with it automatically. And also, you can see that even if you have your projector on a corner, it will show up for you properly. Now, another thing is the rotation. You can also rotate it. So this way, it shows in a total cricket. So that way, you can fix. Even if you have your projector on a side, this will play it for you properly. And yes, the resolution is still proper. And also, there's nothing on it that is out of focus at the meantime. And also, auto adjust off. You can do it so it automatically knows exactly where you are, or you can reset it so it goes back to favorite, and that means is to the default, which is perfect to play it this way. But again, if you have your projector on an even on an angle, it will make sure that it will play it for you properly. Yes, you will lose some of the corners, but it will still play it for you accurately. So this is something really cool and brand new on this projector. One more thing I like is that you can see on a side that I am playing with and settings in that video itself that it shows so nice and clear. That means is even if you have small letters, just like right now, it shows it very crisp. It really filmed it really crisp and it shows it nicely for you so you can read it very easily from this projector, which a lot of projectors don't have that type of option. 
All the links will be available for the Jamtap M22 and the NFC, which is transmitter receiver, all at the bottom of the video so we can order it from. Except that I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. If you have any questions, don't worry, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And I do not want to forget, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xctex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.